Hello and welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I wanted to show you a recipe that's gonna be in the crock pot all day today, but I just wanted to tell you the different steps so you will be able to um, see how easy it is. I've had requests of how I cook my pinto beans. Now, I, I can cook them on my stove, you know, real on a low temperature for several hours, but I'm always afraid that if I don't watch them and stir them, they may stick or the water may um, cook out. So this is the closest thing to my uh, stove top pinto beans. Now you're gonna see some of the ingredients that I put in and I know I'm gonna get comments that says, oh, I would never do that but this is the way I do mine and the taste is really good. All right, I took a pound of pinto beans last night. I always, when I open the plastic bag, I put them in my, uh, I have a colander in the sink and I pour a little bit in my hand and my mother called it looking the pinto beans because occasionally you may find a little um sometimes a, a little rock a little gravel not often and then i washed them and i soaked them overnight i, I covered them with water and probably put two inches of water above because what happens is they soak up the water and you don't have to cook them as long to get tender. But anyway, this is what the pinto beans look like when I drained them this morning. And uh, I'm ju just gonna put them in my crock pot. And then this is the ingredient that I think this is one of the ingredients that I think you're gonna say, no, no, it, it's not a strong taste, but we're gonna put a half of a teaspoon of oregano, just a half. And the other ingredient is a half of a teaspoon of chili powder. It does, they don't taste like chili. This is one you're just gonna have to trust me until you try it. All right. And then after that, four cups of water, four cups. And this is plenty of water. It covers them, but see, they're not going to be soaking up as much water since I did soak them all night. Then I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm gonna put pepper, black pepper, which is gonna be about a half a teaspoon. And then I would put about a teaspoon of salt, but I'm not gonna put quite a teaspoon and I'll tell you why. You can always add more salt. But the recipe calls for, you know, you can put ham hocks or um, ham, bacon or whatever, but I don't have ham hocks. I just have this, uh, it's salt pork fat bag. And um, I use this a lot of times in my peas when I'm cooking, but because this is salty is the reason I didn't. And really, I'm gonna put three slices in here because it'll, it'll give them flavor. Now, when I put my recipe on my website, I will put that you can use ham or ham hock or uh, bacon or the fat bag. And the last thing that we're gonna put, it says to put 
a ch uh, onion chopped. Well, this is still, a, it's not a whole onion, but it's pretty big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put about, it would probably equal to a half of a very large onion, but if you wanted to put the whole onion, you can. But what I usually do when I eat my pinto beans, I put them in a bowl or on the plate and we put about a teaspoon of mayonnaise and some pepper sauce. And then I'll chop up a little fresh onion on there. But that is all that you put in here. And I'm just stirring it together. And it's going to cook on high in the crock pot for five hours. And what I'm gonna do is I will come back when these are done and I'll show you what they look like. Hey, welcome back. This morning, I showed you how I put the, crock, uh, the pinto beans in the crock pot with all of the seasonings. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Carol, if you'll come over here, it's steamy. So that's what they look like. And I'll show you how Harold eats his. He puts his in, in a bowl. And he puts a spoon of mayonnaise. and then some pepper sauce. Now, my, this jar is just about gone, so I've got to open my other one. But, and I'll show you when my pepper's in this um, summer how I make my pepper sauce. But, we've got cornbread that he'll crumble in there, and then I fried some potatoes. This is our supper tonight. Pinto beans, fried potatoes, and cornbread. Can't get much more country than that. This is, these pintos taste absolutely like you'd cooked them on the stove. And I didn't do anything after I showed it to you this morning until it was time to take them out. And they're ready. So, you remember, be salt and light wherever you go. Let others see Jesus in you. I'll be back.